going on everybody welcome back to the channel today we're going to have another update of freeware and uh, some add-ons that you can get for fs 2020 so um, we're going to cover some airports and more liveries and also red bull air racing so um, the red bull track doesn't have times or anything like that so it's nothing crazy but the pylons are there and you can fly through them and start practicing in your extra 300 um, or extra 330 i'm sorry and then also the extra 330 has a red bull livery to go along with that so that'll be pretty cool uh super basic at the moment uh even if you hit the pylon i think you smash into it it's not like real life where they're inflatable and you just cut through it i think it'll actually it's like a brick wall whenever you hit it so just be careful with that but it's still super fun i'll show you guys what that looks like um I'll do it just like I did last time. I'm going to go over it, um, tell you guys how to download it and how to install it. And then after that, I will show you guys a cinematic video of um, all the airports and scenery that we got. So let's get started. All right, so I have all the links pulled up that we're going to be using today. So we're going to go ahead and start with this Italian um, landing strip. This is going to be another really fun bush flying, uh, caravan flying airport. Um, it's nothing too special, but the scenery around it's pretty awesome. That's going to be the case with uh, a lot of the airports today. They're not going to have a lot of detail like the ones I showed you guys in the first episode. So you won't get super fine detail in the airports, but they are perfect checkpoints or also spots to just take off from and go exploring because the scenery around all of them is going to be pretty awesome. So there you go. You have a 400 meter grass strip. It is very short the caravan will barely lift off from there. So just make sure you're flying a small airplane. It's also extremely hard to see. So you kind of just use this sidewalk as a guide. But, but yeah, the scenery around it's awesome. It will have this walking person right there as you guys will see in the video afterwards. Uh, and yeah, they're starting to add people into the airports, but they're nothing crazy. So don't, don't get excited. They're pretty much just on a, on a boomerang. So they'll walk to a certain position and then they'll spawn back to where they started and walk back to that same position. So not too realistic, but a little nice touch. All right, so let's go to the next one. So this is the super exciting one. This is my favorite one so far. It's gonna be the Red Bull Air Racing. Um, I don't think this is an actual aerobatic course anywhere in the world. I think they just threw it in this lake. I, I could be wrong, but um, looking at the track layout and everything, it doesn't look legit. It looks way too long and um, it only has red pylons. So usually you have uh, your checkered pylon to start and then you have your blue and red pylons, which, um, which tell you what orientation, if you should go knife edge or if you should go horizontal over the gates so but regardless perfect practice you know there's nothing i mean other than flying in between buildings there's nothing you can really do to practice your aerobatic flying in the extra 330 or even the biplane so this will be really fun to do some some community events and maybe we can get a couple people in here and race against each other so i will show you guys what that looks like after we go over this uh, next is going to be more liveries. This is the same mega pack that I showed you guys last time, but it's being updated every couple days. So we're up to 323 liveries now, um, 15 aircraft. We still don't have anything for the 787, and I don't think we're going to for a while since it's a it's a premium deluxe aircraft, and Microsoft has some has some things on it that make it kind of hard to make liveries for it. So we'll see. Maybe there'll be some payware add-ons, but for right now, there isn't any. I'll show you guys while I'm flying some of the liveries that are included, but I'm not going to show you all of them because obviously there's so many of them. All right, next airport is going to be this one in Alaska. Again, does not have a lot of detail, but the scenery around it is awesome. So um, if you want to go bush flying or there's a bunch of lakes and small rivers, if you want to take the, uh, the icon. So real fun. I'll show you guys what that looks like. Next one is gonna be in Brazil. This one will have a little more detail than the other ones. It's got um, some pretty awesome parked planes and, and stuff over here. Uh, it'll also have another walking person that I'll show you guys. But again, like the others, it has some beautiful scenery around it that you can go explore to. So he pretty much just walks up to the end of the sidewalk and then bounces back over there and just does that repeatedly. And last but not least is going to be this airport in Russia. Again, this one is definitely not going to have a lot of detail, but the reason why this one's important is because it's the furthest most airport, I think, on the east coast of Russia. Um, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but I had explained it somewhere in here. Yeah, east, eastmost part airport of the continent of Asia. So you're pretty much going to be the closest to Alaska that you can be from being in another continent. So that's a really good airport to, to hop from alaska to russia back and forth and also explore some of the beautiful scenery around here this airport probably has the least amount of details as, as the rest of them as you can see it is nothing special but it is a good airport for a checkpoint or a hop between alaska 
So those are all the airports, guys. All these links are gonna be posted in the description below. Um, if you don't know how to download them yet, it's fairly easy. Uh, after you get your zip file, you know, you just extract it somewhere. And then all you have to do is find your community folder in your FS2020 install folder. So wherever you installed it, go find your community folder. It's gonna be different if you bought it from Microsoft or Game Pass or Steam. So it'll tell you right here the different ways to do that based on which type you own. Very easy. You literally just drop it into the community folder and that's all you have to do. So yeah, let me go ahead and show you guys all these airports and Red Bull Air Racing in a cinematic fashion. And I hope you guys enjoy it and I hope you guys download some of the scenery.